Alright, so this is the first automated flight of the drone in mapping mode. I land the drone, it's all I do. I pre-program the flight and then I land it when it comes back overhead. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the digital globe Esri imagery overlaid from the drone imagery. So let's zoom in on a property on the drone imagery. I flew this at 100 meters with 70% overlap, so 100 meters elevation. And I started to realize I may as well do 90% overlap. There's virtually no cost to doing that except a bit of process and time so that's what i'll move to in the future to get rid of some of the blank spots the resolution at 100 meters flight came in at 2.3 centimeters in the x and 1.8 centimeters so 2.3 and 1.8 in the x and y you know which is getting you individual textured roof tiles right you know so, pretty cool uh so that's good uh take a look at the house here and these trees on the left you can see it generated a pretty good digital elevation model. Okay, so I'll turn off the world imagery. Here's the house, here's the trees, and here's the DEM, the trees and the house. All the values look very good indeed, you know. You can set it to absolute elevation, relative elevation, it really is your call. So uh, elevation looks strong. Uh, Set to everything at the moment, so I'll just take a moment or two. Okay, let's try that again. So you know, elevation 89, 89, so 88.9, really consistent on the roof. Get down to the deck, go to 83 get to the lawn 81 they're real good numbers for my neighborhood okay so that's back to the image okay we see the back of the deck there if we bring up the world imagery and add a bit of transparency okay we'll see and we've got about there's the back of the deck there I'm saying we've got about a So we've got about a there to there it is just under two meter offset on the north extent on the east west extent it's even less it's more like a meter so two meters and one one of two things the drones off by two meters and one or the Google Earth imagery is so I'll get some high precision GPS and determine which of the two that is I suspect if I differentially correct the drone that might line up or it might be Google's off by that much right let's get rid of that transparency okay so there we go back to our image let's take a quick zoom in on the deck back there so you can see it okay you know uh, you see i can see the fan blades in there okay it generated a pretty good point cloud okay this is the point cloud i got at 70 percent so i got about 40,000 points spread across the area okay and each of the points let me go back to the house and get a nice one off the roof okay so each of the points is there are on that UTM elevation coordinate. And what I'm thinking of the RGBs here, I labeled those, so I'm not sure. Raw elevation, absolute elevation. Uh, so that's all good. That's elevation from my takeoff point, and that's absolute elevation. So that's good. So let's get back to the image of the roof there. Let's zoom to the layer again. I just want to quickly show you 40,000 points. Still some gaps if you look in the image. You know, uh, here, here. But I think once I get to 90%, I'll be okay. And a quick look at what we get. We get everything you need to make 3D texture models like pictometry. There they are. Okay, if you want to make 3D texture models, there, there. You get your DEM. And you get, I think, what we call a tin as well, you know. Okay. And your base DEM. Okay, the DEM I showed you already. You get a full uncompressed GeoTIFF as a large file at two centimeters of resolution. A compressed JPEG of the GeoTIFF, KMZ. You get your point clouds in last and text format. I made the CSV. And you get your raw images, you know, your actual 